how high can we build? The sky's the limit, or is it? I've been thinking about this for a long time and have done some research. Hi, I'm Zachary Flynn, and today I'm going to be talking about how high we can build. It's an interesting topic, but there are a few things we need to talk about first. To start, there are few materials strong enough to hold up such a tall building. The strongest natural material is tungsten, which has the highest pound per square inch. But we can do better than that. We can make metal alloys, which are metals combined into one to make an even stronger metallic element. The problem is, alloys are much more expensive than normal metals. Is the strength worth the expense? The tallest building in the world right now is worth 1.5 billion, which isn't even close to the most expensive building, which is worth $15 billion. However, it can hold up to 100,000 people. It has to be strong to hold that many people. That may not sound like a lot of people, but let's compare that to a city in Colorado. Arvada, Colorado, which only has 7,000 more people than, this, than that building. That's right. This building can hold more people than most cities on Earth. This proves that a large building could be useful for housing people. We have to find a metal that is just right. Not too expensive, but still strong. The three strongest materials on Earth are some of the most expensive, too. With graphene at number one, which costs $100 per gram. That's two times the expense of gold. Another problem is location. There are many expectations when it comes to location. One of them is space required to build a building this size. The base of a building as large as the tallest we could build would have a base as large as whole cities and would probably require the demolition of many existing buildings. Unless we built it in a completely barren location, which would not be helpful considering the fact that it would be that the materials would have to be shipped all the way there. That brings us to our next location problem. Where could we put it that has a space for a building this large and is also a convenient location to ship materials to? For example, graphite, which can be made into graphene. Graphite is only found in a handful of countries. Another location problem is where we would be allowed to build it. Some countries wouldn't want that tall of a building. They also might not want a building with a base that might take up a whole city. A building of this size collapsing would be a disaster. The blow would destroy the whole country it's in and more. The building would have to be very durable. It would have to be able to withstand bombs, natural disasters, and storms. The building's design would make a huge impact. Let's use the One World Trade Center as an example. The One World Trade Center has vents that open to let harmful gases out and vents that close to contain the air inside the building to stop fires from spreading. All the glass on the building is bombproof and it is made of strong metals. This building would need to be even stronger. Some buildings are designed to sway in the wind. Other, others are designed like spirals to make the wind go up the spiral instead of hitting the building straight on. That brings us back to the material. The material would have to be strong and support a building this large without being too heavy and putting more pressure on the bottom. So now to answer the question, should we build it? That's a hard question to answer. It mostly depends on what the building is used for, if it is used as a hotel, if it is used as a meeting place for world leaders. It's all a matter of opinion. I think instead of focusing our time on making a huge building with a purpose without importance, we should focus on stopping pollution. If we combine these two and made a tall building with trees and plants to freshen our air, or use it as a meeting place for world leaders to discuss climate change and other problems in our world, I would say yes. It all depends on what it is used for and if we can meet all of these requirements.